Hello Year 9, this is a short video just to tell you a little bit about what it's like if you take GCSE Music as one of your options. Component 1 at GCSE is performing your own music. You'll be required to perform two pieces of music with a minimum duration of four minutes combined and a maximum duration of six minutes. Difference to Key Stage 3 is that you get to select the instrument that you are going to perform on and you also get to choose the music that you're going to perform. In the first term in year 10, one of the things that I ask you to do is to create and prepare a solo performance, a performance where you're going to play individually to the rest of the class. This can be singing, playing an instrument, it can be anything that you want it to be. All I ask is that you are aiming to do a performance of grade three and above. Performing at GCSE uh, is weighted at 30% and your final performances will be recorded in year 11. The second component that you do at GCSE Music is composing. You're required to create two pieces of music that last no less than three minutes and no more than six. One of those pieces of music is a free composition and you can compose in any style or any genre that you like. The second piece of music that you compose is to a set brief. There are four briefs that are released by the exam board in September and you can choose one of these as the basis for your second composition. Your first composition will be completed in the summer term of year 10 and your second composition will be completed in the autumn term of year 11. We've been very fortunate this year to have actually uh, got 18 new music laptops. On these laptops we're running a programme called Sibelius 8 which is a programme that we can use and you can use to write down your compositions using notation, guitar tab, drum tab or you can link it up to a keyboard and actually input directly your ideas that you're playing on a keyboard. There are lots of different ways of composing music and for those of you that would be worried about reading music you, uh, if you are a singer-songwriter, for example, you may decide to write down your compositions using a lead sheet, lyrics and chords, and just a general description of your ideas. Eventually, your compositions will need to be recorded. If you've re completed your composition on a, a software program such as Sibelius or Cubase, then you can record uh, your composition directly from that program. If you have gone down the singer-songwriter route and you've got a lead sheet, then your composition will need to be performed live and recorded by live musicians. The third and final component of GCSE Music is appraising. This is assessed through an examination at the end of Year 11. There is only one exam paper that you will sit. In this exam paper, there are eight questions based on four areas of study. Area of study one, which is musical forms and devices. Area of study two, which is music for ensembles. Area of study three, which is film music. And area of study four, which is popular music. Throughout the course, these are the four main areas that we focus on when we are investigating, listening, analyzing, and developing knowledge of music. There are two set pieces for GCSE music, two set pieces of music, one from area of study one and one from area of study four. In area of study one, you're going to be studying Bodinary from Bach's orchestral suite number two in B minor, and in area of study four, you're going to be studying Africa by Toto. There are many reasons to choose music at GCSE. If you enjoyed music at Key Stage 3, then this is a really good option for you. If you enjoy performing, creating and listening to music, then this is a really good option for you. There are many careers that this GCSE can help you to progress to, not just the obvious ones such as performers, music producers and session musicians, but also things such as music journalist, producer, instrument technician. When you're in school again, come and have a look at this wall. It also shows students that have left Longstratton High School and how they've used their GCSE music. We've got students who have gone on to become army musicians. We've got students who have gone on to become producers in children's TV shows after completing degrees in music. 
We've got students who are now touring with professional musical theatre companies. And students who work across the world in studios and production teams. If you have any questions about GCSE Music or you want to know if it's the right option for you, please don't hesitate to email, email me or send me a message on Teams and I will answer any questions that you have. Look forward to hearing from lots of you soon.